हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लैब रूम ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टू एंड इन दिस फार्मास्यूटिकल केमिस्ट्री टू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज टू प्रिपेयर लैसिग्ने एक्सट्रैक्ट ओके सो दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू डिटेक्ट द एलिमेंट्स ओके एज यू नो दैट आर कंपाउंड्स आर मेड अप ऑफ एलिमेंट्स सो दिस एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस पीरियोडिक टेबल if we are talking about organic chemistry then uh, the prime elements of organic chemistry are carbon then oxygen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus halogen etc so among this uh, elements of this organic chemistry uh, we know that carbons are most abundant along with proceeding to the oxygen okay so the oxygen are the second most abundant element in this uh, organic compound and uh, when we are uh, when we are talking about organic chemistry along with carbon and oxygen there are always hydrogen so this three element carbon hydrogen and oxygen they are most abundant and we can detect them by simple flame test okay that we have studied already before in the laboratory that when we are uh, doing some flame test using the burner and the compound over the spatula we can determine or we can understand whether there is oxygen present or not as well as carbon and hydrogen they must be present because due to the presence of organic chemistry due to the knowledge of organic chemistry but apart from these elements whether there are nitrogen is present or not sulfur is present or not halogen is present or not whether the nitrogen and sulfur are present together or whether nitrogen is only present sulfur is not present these things can be very useful to uh, know uh, for the structural purpose and this can be only done by preparing or using the lacigne extract so as you have studied the extract word in the pharmacognosy so generally extract are generally uh, plant component or the any other component along with some solvents so here also uh, the solvents is there the solvent is generally nothing but the water we know that water is the most polar solvent so for preparing the lacigne extract also we are going to take the water as solvent in this water the component for this lacigne extract would be these two things will be in water for lacigne extract that is organic compound along with sodium metal okay so as a if you were given a organic compound in a something uh, same or plain or uh, up uh, in the crucibles or uh, over the watch glass that can be a solid white or that can be viscous compound or that can be a yellow color uh, uh, liquid or that can be yellow color solid so you cannot say that what the proper compound is or what the elements can be present in this organic compound but when you are using the organic compound with the sodium metal then it could uh, form a inorganic compound and you know that inorganic compound or inorganic salts are generally very much soluble in water to purpose of this lacigne extract preparation is to uh, form the organic compound into uh, uh, fuse and uh, diffuse into a individual element along with the fusing with sodium metal to form it into uh, inorganic salt so suppose there are car nitrogen present as well as carbon present in the element along with the sodium metal can produce nacn as the same way nitrogen is present sulfur is present sodium is present it can form na cns these are all inorganic salt if we are talking about the nitrogen along with the sulfur it can form na2s so suppose let's say two here along with the sodium is present along with any halogen that can be bromide chloride iodide chloride so it can produce any so sodium halide so all these are inorganic salt these 
sodium cyanide sodium alcyanide sodium sulfide sodium halide all these are inorganic salt and these are very much having the higher solubility in the water so what we are doing just we are fusing the sodium in each case there are sodium so we are using the sodium to fuse the elements of organic compound whether nitrogen whether nitrogen plus sulfur plus carbon whether sulfur whether halide so we are just fusing the organic compounds generally abundant elements with the sodium to produce uh, sodium salt of this element so this sodium salt of this element are generally very much soluble in water so this elements along with the salt soluble in water are generally lacigne extract okay by the name of lacigne or the scientist who discovered the experiment this is known as lacigne test okay where we are generally uh, produce the lacigne extract okay so how we can produce this lacigne extract this is a uh, work of uh, learning a lesson that uh, the sodium metal so there is another question arises why we are taking the sodium metal not taking the other element okay as we can say that sodium metal among the metals it is the softest metal and you can piece it is very uh, fine metal but you can cannot piece uh, iron or the copper or the um, or any other metal by using the laboratory equipments by using laboratory equipments for say the spatula you can very finely piece or by uh, forcep you can piece the sodium metal and using the fusion tube you can put it in the fusion tube along with the organic compound so it can produce after the heating it can produce this salt so what you have to do so sodium metal is very soft along with that it is very reactive and it is easily available in the laboratory so that's why sodium metal is used for lacigne extract preparation okay. so what you have to do you have to take the sodium metal and you have to piece it very finely manner okay but be very careful that sodium metal is very reactive and when you, uh, we are using the sodium metal in presence of water that can be explosive in nature and produce the hydroxide of sodium that is sodium hydroxide okay but the reaction is very exothermic so that can be blast or that can lit a, um, a laboratory so when you are using uh, the sodium metal keep stay away from water and in the dry places just cut the sodium and take the fusion tube fusion tube like uh, this much height of uh, having a glass tube with uh, the narrow diameter uh, but the narrow diameter than test tube but the wider diameter than the capillary tube okay so in fusion tube you just fuse uh, the sodium metal along with the organic compound then you just uh, burn it the compound using the blue flame of burner to mix them okay and when you are using the blue flame you know that blue flame has having the highest temperature okay so this blue flame at first melt the organic compound along with that it will melt the sodium metal in a vigorous condition they will react with each other and after reaction they will produce this salt okay so we have to just keep the salt in water so take a water in a uh, uh, porcelain cup or any other means in china this you can take the water in china this and put the red heated fusion tube from the burner to this water when you dipping the water this is the very basic chemistry when you are applying the uh, lower temperature to the higher heating component it will break easily so glass will break easily under the water and the content of this uh, total fusion tube will be in water in a salt form so prepare the two or three fusion tube uh, likewise manner and uh, broken it broke it into the uh, china dish and in a subsequent time you just heat the china dish over or boil the content of china dish over the flame the reason due to the fact that uh, inorganic compounds are very much soluble salt are very much soluble in water but we generally used heating to increase the solubility of these compounds also so by applying heat you can increase the solubility so 
the salt that are can be uh, reacted or uh, present in the content that will be very much soluble or uh, will be very much soluble in the water and the extract will be very much successful so this is the whole process to prepare the lysine extract just you have to take the sodium metal in a very finely manner and you have to chop the sodium metal in a very fine piece that it could comes under uh, or inside the fusion tube then you have to take the organic compound and sandwich the sodium metal in uh, likewise that it uh, could have the organic compound below and over layer of this sodium metal then you have to just uh, uh, burn it in the flame to mix the content with each other the organic and inorganic after this uh, this heating the reaction would take place that will produce the inorganic salt and when you are producing the inorganic salt just keep it in the water in the heating condition so while in heating condition glass tube will broken up and the content of this glass tube that is fusion tube will be in water just apply some heat to boil the content then uh, the complete the salt will be in water in a very much soluble form and after this it is the lysine extract just you have to filter out the glass tubes or broken glass tubes that may be present in this field, uh, tube so in the filtrate there will be soluble lysine extract from taking the soluble uh, soluble lysine extract you just have to uh, perform some qualitative test or uh, confirmatory test to indicate whether the nitrogen or uh, sulfur or halide may be present or not okay so thank you friends thank you for your time uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, practical session uh, along with that uh, we will uh, perform the experiment where you come here physically okay the virtually the practical is not possible so that's why i have told you the complete process of it uh, the practical is very interesting and uh, very much learning to the new things okay so we'll perform the practical definitely when you come to the institution thank you